Hi everyone, Tatiana from the Green Birds Bead Kingdom is here and today I'm going to show you how to make beaded rings for best friends. That means they are double, they look quite the same but with slight difference. Let me show you one of these. They are going to look like this. I've made the first one and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make the very same ring but in slightly different colors. By the way, I know you noticed my beautiful necklace. I made it myself and you also can do this yourself. We have a tutorial here. So go check this video and you can create the very same jewelry for your friends or yourself or someone you really love. So enjoy our tutorial here. In the description under this video you will find the list of materials you will need. Actually there is a Delica in size 11O, beading thread and beading needles. I'm using my favorite Mayuki beading needles and Toho 1J thread. And also Delica seed beads size 11O, colors 34 and 21. These are golden and nickel colors, very nice and beautiful. Actually these are my favorite colors so that's why I'm going to use them. And I want to make my ring quite fancy. So along with seed beads, I'm going to use this type of findings. This is called symbol findings. These are made in Greece. Uh, these are bead substitutors. They look like daisies. There also exist these kind of small buttons. You can glue in flat crystals here, but I'm not going to use these. I'm going to take the daisies because I really like how it looks like in my finished jewelry. So daisies are a huge trend now and we are going to create a daisy ring. First of all, take your beading thread and unspool as much thread as possible. Well, I mean, not as long as possible. It still must be manageable. You still must be able to work with this comfortably, but again, a long thread because we are going to make a lot of passes, a lot of difficult turns and you will need a lot of thread for this. So I think something like this would be okay and enough. Then we cut off the thread and let's get started. String three golden, one silver and three golden seed beads. Send them all here down the needle. Help yourself with fingers. Make sure they don't slip off your thread. Okay, leave a tail approximately 5 to 7 inches here, we will deal with this later. And now string one golden seed bead and pass through this one. See, it's the second bead from the edge. So we are like going back in the opposite direction. Always hold your beadwork with your fingers. And when you pull your thread, you will see that the beads, they lay down like this, like a bricks. Now string another golden bead and pass through this silver bead, skipping one golden bead. See, we skipped one and we are going through the next one. Pull your thread and it looks like this. Now string another golden bead and again skip one and pass through the second one here. See, we've skipped one and we are going through the second one. Again, help yourself with fingers, hold your beadwork with your fingers. It will be easier to deal with your beadwork if you do this. And now it's time to make a turn. String one golden bead and pass through this one, through the last bead of the row, from the top to the bottom. See, like I'm doing. Okay, pull. And now we are going to bring our needle. We need to come from these beads. See the one I'm showing you? So we will need to make a turn that our needle comes through this bead. Look what I'm doing. I'm going through this bead here, the one here in the middle. We're going through this golden bead, which kind of stands out. And now we're going through three beads diagonally from the bottom to the top. Like I'm doing here, you can also follow the pattern we've attached to this video. Okay, we're going back to the top here. Okay, our needle is coming through bottom left bead. So we're going here from the top to the bottom through this bead. Okay, we brought our needle here and we're ready to start the next row. This is how we start the next row. Now string one golden bead and pass through this bead that stands out. Actually, we have our beads laying like the brick rows. So what we're going to do is insert the new bead between the beads that's already stand out. Okay, string on silver and come through this golden String one golden bead and pass through this bottom bead that stands out. And again turn. 
Turns at the bottom are easy, so we just string one bead and pass through this bead that stands out, follow the pattern like this. Another golden is strung and then we pass through this silver one. So you see it's kind of easy. We string another golden bead and we pass through the bead that stands out. Okay, and now it's time to make a turn. See what I'm doing and also follow a pattern. I've strung one bead and now I'm going here through this bead from the top to the bottom like this pull and place this bead as a brick again what we have to do we need to bring our needle coming from this top bead and then we'll start a new row okay there are many ways to make turns here first of all we can make the turn the way i've shown you before and now i'm going to show you a shorter way using two beads okay now we are coming back from this second bead from the bottom see the pattern then we come up through these two beads. See, we are going through these two from the bottom to the top. Hold with your fingers and pull your thread. Make sure that the thread is hidden here between the beads so that you won't see this. And again, we come through this first bead from the top to the bottom. Okay, we are ready to start a new row. Now we continue to bead in the same manner. We are always going to do the same thing. String one bead and come through the next one that stands out. We're going here. I've strung the silver bead because we have this silver line in the center of the ring. Seize three silver beads between the golden ones. Again, one golden and we go through this bead. Again, one bead and we are going to make a turn here. Another golden and we're coming through this silver bead. And okay, this is how we are going to continue our beadwork. String one and go through the next bead that stands out here. We are stringing one and then we are going to make this turn. We are coming from the top to the bottom here through this bead. Put this bead in its place, make sure that everything is nice and neat. Help with your fingers and pull the thread a little bit. And now again, make any turn that our needle comes from this bead at the top. You can actually do different turns here, but I'm going to use the same that I've shown you before. I'm going through this bead. See, it's the second from the top. I'm going down. And again, through these two to the top. Let me show you it closer. Through these two, I'm going to the top. Pull your thread and make sure it's not visible between your seed beads here. And again, from the top to the bottom through this bead. We are ready to start a new row. Do this till you reach the desired length of your beadwork. And the desired length of your beadwork is looking like this. Something like a couple of inches. You can measure your finger and you know the perfect length. Make it long enough so it could turn around your finger. Let's make a try and let's see how it looks like on my finger. Why 5 mm less is the perfect size? Because we are going to add a daisy bead here. So look what I'm doing. String another bead. Pass through this one and now string a daisy bead. It will fit here perfectly because these type of findings they were made specifically for delicacy beads beadwork. So see it stands here perfectly and its wrong size has the size of Delica 11-0 size seed beads. Okay we string this bead now and pass through this golden bead that stands out here. Pull. Okay, it went to its place and it looks like this. This is the wrong side and this is how it looks from the right side. And then we continue to add seed beads like we did this before. String golden bead and pass through this bead that stands out here like this. Another golden and we're going to the top. Passing through this golden bead that stands out, we're stringing another golden bead. And now we're going to pass through our daisy bead. Make sure it's perfectly in its place, in its position, and now go through it. We're going through it like it's a normal delicacy bead. So like this, we just pull and make sure that everything is nice and tight. Pull your thread if you feel you need this. And again, we continue. String one golden seed bead and pass through this golden here. And again, our favorite turn. String one bead and go from the top to the bottom here. 
follow the pattern. I'm going to pass through the two beads at the same time. Put this bead in its place so it looks like a brick wall. And again here I'm going through these two beads to the top. Okay, it's like usual, we did this many many times before. And again from the top to the bottom through this bead. Okay, we are ready to start a new row. Our daisy is here, nice and beautiful. Then we continue with what we did before. String one, skip one and pass through the one that stands out. See we have silver beads here in the middle, so we string a silver bead now and pass through this golden bead. You can always follow the pattern we've attached to this video. Another golden and we're going up. Okay, do several rows till you reach the desired length. The desired length is the length that allows us to go around our finger. Okay, let's try it on. Let's see if we have enough beads now. Okay, I need to make a couple more rows now. And look what we're going to have at this point. By the way, these daisy beads, you can make the one like I have did here. Or you can put several daisies all around your ring. So it has the continuous pattern of daisies, so it's up to you. You decide how you want to make them. Okay, now it's time to close the ring. Let's try this on again. Okay, the size is perfect. Let's see what we're going to have when we close this ring. See, we have four beads from one edge and four beads from the other edge. We can't connect it at this point, so we need to add one row of beads. I'm not going to comment what I'm doing because you can perfectly see this. I'm just adding new bead between every bead that stands out. Okay, we did this and let's see what we have now. When we turn around, when we place these edges together. Now the ring is ready to be closed perfectly. This is the perfect connection, so we have everything connected, like a continuous brick wall. Okay, let's sew this together. Look what I'm doing. We need to pass through every single bead that stands out, both from the right and from the left. And now we're going to pass through this one. This, this one that stands out, you can follow the pattern. Now we're going through this bead that stands out in the left. See, we're sewing them together. I'm not going to pull it tightly at this point, so you will see what I'm doing. Again, come through this bead that stands out on the right. It looks like this. Now we're going through this bead on the left. You can pull your thread at this point, but I'm not doing this so you could better see what is going on here. Okay, now I'm ready to pull my thread. Pull everything so it's all nice and neat and tight. And continue sewing them together. Pass through this standing out bead in the left and then through this bead on the right. And here from the bottom to the top. Okay, this is how it looks like at this point, so we've sewn them together. Now we're going to make several passes, several turns between these seed beads. We go straight, we go back, we make several turns. So we are putting more thread between our seed beads and we won't need to make any knots or something. We're just securing our thread by passing several times from several beads back and forth, make a couple of turns. And now we're ready to cut off the thread. And exactly the same thing we're going to make with the second thread. Thread the needle with this. And again, make several turns, go up and down, here and there. So we're doing this just to secure the thread. This is the perfect way to secure the thread when you're doing this paired stitch. Because it's not easy to make knots between the beads. They are very tight, they are very close to each other. So we are doing this just to secure our thread. We're going here diagonally, then we go back to the bottom here. Always make sure your thread is not visible here. I'm having the thread. I'm going to pull it tightly so it won't be visible. Always pay attention to your thread when you're doing this. Okay, couple of turns here, back and forth. Another one. And then cut the thread. And that's it, the ring is ready. Oh, how beautiful this ring is, how gorgeous it is. And it really looks like a jewelry, so it doesn't look like a seed beads, beaded ring. It really looks like a golden jewelry. Well, maybe because we took the golden Delica beads. Anyway, I hope you like this tutorial. If you do, then don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Go back for more tutorials next week. 
Don't forget to leave something in the comments, maybe your suggestions or maybe thank you or maybe just about anything. See you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.